So when I think about the uh, Peterman Acoustic Dual MK3 uh, Piggyback Supplement Piezo um, uh, Pickup from, from, uh, from Peterman Acoustic, uh, just thought, a few thoughts on it. Uh, the, it, it's a very sensitive pickup, uh, so uh, it can pick up all the sound of the guitar. So it, 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 uh, so it's great for percussive playing and all that, you know, really, really if you're doing it. But it's, it's quite sensitive. Uh, so if you're used to playing ones where it covers over a lot of what you do and you don't play very well, I mean, it, it, it's going to amplify your mistakes, okay? Um, so it's great for uh, being precise and all that. But if you, if you don't want to hear your mistakes and you want to think about it, you know, um, uh, I'm glad to be testing now when I played a long, long, long time you know, and, and make less mistakes than I did earlier in my earlier days. Second thing is that there are quite a few different models, so you can install them internally, externally. I got the one that was external, I put it in a bunch of different guitars because I want to test in many, many different guitars. I want to install it. Uh, so that was kind of the thing. Another nice thing about this uh, that I did not show is that if you don't have an end pin of your guitar, okay, a lot of like like my Martins, my two my two uh, all hog uh, all mahogany Martins don't have the end pin, and I actually put it in. I just put it in there, lodge in there for for a little bit because it's sitting in the it's sitting in a little envelope inside of the uh, the guitar case. What they've got is it's got a little basically it's got a little um oh, what do you call this thing? Can't remember here uh, suction cup that you can put on the guitar, and the, well, not for the all mahogany top, because those are satin matte finish, but on the gloss top, you can put it on there, and you can hang the leather strap, the pickup, off of this. So there's a way to get around not having a, not having a, um, an end pin on your guitar. Uh, another thing that I did not show on this, uh, so what, it does have the attenuator, you didn't really see that probably very closely, but there's this little attenuator here, so it's basically this little uh, knob here, and that's that's the turn down the gain. So I was doing so I turned the gain for a number of uh, times, and then you have the extra jack for plug in electronics. Uh, you know, it's it's pretty easy uh, to use. Uh, some things here, uh, one of the things I did not show is that on the travel one uh, here, uh, I got to pick the holding to, to get to the uh, it's used for uh, this is just tack, so you know, some of that little putty tack putty stuff. It's just little pieces of putty. You can take it off and, and, and put it on again and make a little ball. You want to have the least amount of contact with the putty, uh, basically. And you want to use stuff that doesn't make uh, you know any marks in the guitar. So there's the good tack stuff that's uh, for that, the original. Um, it is tunable. So you can, you actually have a, a, a you, you do have a screw on there to tune the sensor. I haven't done that. I haven't tried to do that. You could do it. You just don't want to tune it too hard. You, know, you don't want to turn it too much. But it is possible to actually affect the sound of the sensor using that. So that's something to, he calls that it's tunable. Um, the, uh, it, 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 there are, some of the models have, I think he's got even a one sensor, but he's got some of these have the two sensors. He, I mean, the model's got a three sensor, so you got bass, mid, and high. Uh, so there's different ones. Some come installable completely with uh, a nice little jack system. Everything's a standard jack size, so it's ever all made for that. You just have to remount the hole at the end if you don't have it. Um, and then, of course, this model had the one that you get the extra jack that you can plug into the existing onboard electronics and get a preamp in it, So, which is the interesting thing to, to supplement, actually, your, your existing uh, preamp if you don't like it as much. So there's something for like, some people like a Taylor's or others, they want to get a little more acoustic. You want to make it sound like Tommy, Tommy Manuel's Maiden? Well, this is the way to do it. Uh, just add this on top of it, plug it in, it's going to sound like a Maiden. Because it sounds, I got a Maiden, I've got a Mini Maiden, I haven't even tested this on yet. Because the Mini Maiden sounds pretty, very, very close. It's just the Mini Maiden, you can tap it on the bridge and get it here, you can tap it all on the guitar and you get the whole sound. So I might actually turn the Mini Maiden as well. But here, you get the Mini Maiden sound out of it. Okay, so that's really, uh, or the, the Maiten AP5 electronic sound of just uh, hitting the guitar and percussion and all that. So you can sound like Tommy Manuel. Not we don't all sound like Tommy, but uh, you know you can you can get it to sound like that if you want to. Um, the, the 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 leather strap is a great little uh, 
the way he's done that to hang the whole thing off the leather strap is a great idea. Uh, it, it's all, you know, it's pretty solid stuff. Uh, it, it, he, from what I understand, he, he warranties this thing for life. Uh, so, you know, this is, and he says he just doesn't get orders to, to pe people don't refund it. You know, they want refunds. They love it. And he's always constantly, um, improving the, the improving it. What he's told me, he's improving it every time that he has issues, he improves the, the pickup. So it's really easy to do a lot of, uh, you know, feedback channel from the users on that. And, um, this is j just, uh, He's got some videos, pretty simple packaging. Uh, it's not very complicated, it comes in bubble wrap. Uh, it's pretty, actually, it's a, 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 I just, I really like it. Um, uh, the sound is great. Um, uh, it, 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 it sounds like the guitar. And what I found, and what you've heard, what I've mentioned, is that when you have old strings on it, you can hear that they're old strings. If you got new strings, you can hear that they're new strings. It's that sensitive. It, it literally does reflect the acoustic nature of the guitar. And it depends where you put the sensors. We've tried it in a couple different places. We haven't done everything, but I've shown, you know, shown I think in the initial video, I showed like three or four places, three places. And some of the guitars I moved it around. Uh, but you really have to do a lot of testing to find out where it is the right place for that guitar that you want to have it on. And I'll still have to do a lot more you know, playing around with it and testing on it. Especially my, you heard on a baritone guitar, a baritone acoustic, you know, that's a whole different uh, spectrum of sound. If it's five half tones lower and, and has that bass and you got to be able to deal with that. This, uh, the guitar, uh, now it's very sensitive. So for feedback, you got, you want to get the one of the attenuator on it, okay? Um, you really want to have that ability to, to, to turn it down uh, when you can, turn the gain down. Or, you know, it helps to have that. Uh, there's no volume on it, so you, you, you're going to be dealing with a pedal or with an amp or something. Uh, so that attenuator really does help with that. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much what I've got to say about it. I mean, it's, it's great. I'm, I'm going to be using it a lot on my... Um, I might even try tuning with the, 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 the uh, doing the tuning action, turning the uh, little, little screw on it as well. But I may be trying it in the restaurant. I played in some restaurants um, and uh, where I do a lot of piano bar, guitar bar kind of playing, you know, uh, not too loud. Actually, it's just very, very, just above the voice, the you know, the, the talking voices and it's the eating. So they really, they come to eat and uh, to just have listened to some live music, but it's not to come and listen to live music and eat a bit. Uh, so I've, this is going to actually resolve some uh, needs for the, my acoustic baritone. I've not had a pickup in. I didn't get it with it. And this is going to make that a possible play in that, that restaurant. But a very, in that sit setting, I've got it where I want it to be relaxed. I want it to be very, um, it's got to be hot. The sound has got to be hot. It's got to be very, very sensitive. And I constantly, with my tailors, I'm trying to boost the sound with my DI box and boosting it. And this is going to just make it so that I can actually hear myself play and, uh, and have it so that it's just really sensitive and you can hear it through the, through the system. Uh, so this is, going to, this is going to be really interesting for those environments of playing live. That the, it's, it's a little bit of the voices in a restaurant. People are talking and stuff. So, so you don't want to be too loud because then it's going to bother them and they're not going to come back to the restaurant. Uh, so, uh, pubs are a little bit different, you know, that's a different kind of situation. So this, uh, I would say, go ahead and, uh, it, it's great. You, you've heard it. I mean, you've heard it. So that's what it sounds like. Uh, but it, 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 it's very sensitive and, uh, and he's listened to a lot of feedback. He says he's sold a lot of units and, uh, you know, let him know that I, let him saw my review. Uh, let me show you a review, and if you you know want to order it, uh, uh, j just because that's where you can you know we can hear that th this is these these kind of reviews are actually helping a little bit. It's solid, you know, it's providing something, some kind of service to to the general community. He's based in Australia. He sends worldwide, and um, and uh, oh, one thing you do want to when you're testing, I found is you want to wash off. I had a wet rag here the whole time on a dry one. I was w wiping the guitar down to make sure they don't get dust on the on the tack, you know, that, that putty. 
So uh, there's, uh, you, you want to make sure you not get dust on that when you're, you're testing it out. Then afterwards, he's got some videos, instructional videos about how to install these permanently. There are different, different ways. Uh, you know, Double-sided uh, tape is one, uh, super glue is another, some felt, actually, some felt. There are different ways. Go look at the videos. He he's provides videos on how to do this. And, uh, and then, of course, it all depends on the type of amp you've got. Uh, I'm running on, again, on the Tanglewind uh, T6 Acoustic Combo 60 Watt uh, you know, Acoustic Amp, which is pretty much uh, a clone of a copy of an AAR. Uh, I want to get an Acoos uh, 8, a Wood 8 uh, one, which is really great sounding amp, uh, but I haven't got that yet. So, uh, so that you heard through this, that, and that amp was going out to another room. It was sitting in the doorway to go to another room, so I didn't want to get too much feedback in the room. I wanted to have just enough for you to hear the guitars uh, through that, through that, uh, you know, through this pickup. Again, this is not a battery-operated pickup, so you can see how how sensitive it really is. That's um, that's pretty amazing for a non battery non preamp uh, pickup system. It's extremely sensitive, um, uh, you know. The kit, uh, and this is a custom, custom pickup. Okay, this is not a, a, a general other uh, pickup, you know, standard and stuff. So there, and there's a lot more improvements made on a regular basis to this kind of thing than you get in the kind of an industrialized one. So, so hopefully that gives uh, all of my input about this pickup. And uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna getting some more of these uh, for my various guitars that don't have anything. So uh, hopefully that review helps you make some decisions on this pickup, or at least the series of pickups by Peterman Acoustic. Thanks.